It's one thing for an athlete to pile on the pounds and test just how much weight they can successfully lift. But now new technology is helping athletes at Avila improve just how fast they can lift that max weight. They don't know what fast is yet, so we're teaching them fast. To do that, Avila strength and conditioning coach Brian Silek taps into established research to help determine what a lifter's ideal velocity should be. It varies by the exercise, but the target is generally around one meter per second. To track this velocity and measure his athlete's progress, Silek has brought into Avila's weight room new technology from Rep One. It's a small device that straps onto the end of a weight bar and essentially acts as a speedometer tracking how quickly an athlete can complete one rep of a given exercise. The device sends the readings via Bluetooth to iPads Silic has installed on the walls, and the lifters can see their success rate and overall progress in real time. Move the bar too slow, and you get a slow indicator. Too fast, and you see fast. Get near the target velo, and you get the hotly desired good review, and you can move on. It also helps if you have a spotter or friend to give you play-by-play -play updates on your progress. Slow. Slow. 0.53, come on. 0.62, slow. Stop. Each rep is a data point, and each data point can be used to track an athlete's progress over a season, a semester, or through their career. Silek estimates that across every Avila athlete, he can track more than 200,000 individual data points each semester, which the kinesiology department can then analyze and his department yeah. can utilize to potentially mitigate injuries. And over a season, maybe we can start to say this athlete's body needs more rest. They need to back off. Coach, maybe we need to consider putting them on reserve status for a week so they can heal so that they can actually come back at a better time. We don't have that accuracy until we can measure repeated jump efforts and show that they have a declination of 20% off their vertical jump by week eight, you might need to rest that athlete a little bit. Each one of those data points is also cast to a large leaderboard on each of the end walls so that everyone in the weight room can see who, for example, has the best success rate. It's an appeal to the innate competitiveness of college athletes, a brilliant tactic to encourage everyone to want to get better. It's impossible to know now whether this approach will translate into more wins for Avil Athletics. But as one of the only universities in the country to employ this technology, Silic believes that Rep One and a focus on velocity will help Avila's athletes become healthier and more powerful.